Problem number 29 of section 1.5.1 is a physics problem. Uh, we have a stick that's uh, thrown upward with an initial velocity and from a starting position. And we know that the function describing, uh, describing the position of an object in free fall is given by this equation, 1 half gt squared plus initial velocity times time plus the initial position, uh, where g is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So our first problem, or our first part, uh, asks us to uh, write down a position, write down a function giving position, fun giving, write down a function that gives us uh, position at time t. So we know that the general formula is one half g t squared plus v naught t plus p naught. Well, you know that this is going to be one half times negative nine point eight t squared. Now our initial velocity is 5 meters per second. So we have plus 5t. And our initial position is 10, uh, 10 meters. So we have plus 10. Now part b asks us to find the intervals in which the height is increasing and intervals in which it's decreasing. So if its height is increasing, the velocity is going to be positive, in other words, in the upward direction. So First off, we need to find the derivative of the position function, which will give its vertical velocity. And find that this is minus 9.8t plus 5. Now, we want to find, where, find the critical points. Where is this equal to 0, and where does it change? And on all the intervals between the critical points, it'll either be positive or negative. So we set this equal to 0 and solve for t, which gives us t is equal to 5 over 9.8. So we have one critical point. That means we need to check, uh, check the sign of the derivative on two different intervals. So First, we need to look at minus infinity to uh, 5 over 9.8 and um, 5 over 9.8 to, uh, actually, we really only need to check time 0 here because we're only modeling the, this function only models the stick when it's in free fall. That's not in free fall until we actually release it at time equal, time equal 0. Um, and to infinity here. And again, this function will only model it until the, the stick hits the ground. We don't know exactly what point that is, so we'll just pretend that it goes on here. We're only, really only look, worried about what the, uh, what the sign of the derivative is on this interval. So on, first inter on the first interval, We have that, well, let's just pick a sample point, say 0. Um, so t equals 0. We'll find out, well, what is the velocity doing, velocity doing there? Uh, so p prime of 0 is going to be negative. 9.8 times 0 plus 5, which is equal to 5 greater than 0. So we know that it's increasing from 0 to 5 over 9.8, which makes sense because if we you know, throw the stick up, its velocity is going to be increasing until it hits some point, at which point it's going to start falling. And then we'd, hope, we'd expect that the velocity would be negative. All right, so let's pick a. Um, point beyond this. See 5 over 9.8, that's roughly 1 half, so let's just pick 1, for example. That's definitely going to be greater than 5 over 9.8. So the derivative at 1 is negative 9.8 times 1 uh, plus 5, which is negative 4.8.
and that's less than zero. So we can tell that it's decreasing on this interval here. So now part C asks us to find where, um, when does the stick attain its maximum height? Well, if we look look on the points where the function is defined, we see that we go from positive to negative. So our graph is going to go from, so it has a positive slope to a negative slope. We see that this point here is going to be a maximum. Which again makes sense because if we're throwing a stick upwards, we would hope that it would attain a maximum and then gravity would take over and it would fall down. 